Oh no. Sit tight. I know I'm gonna get those comments. What? What are you doing? You're wasting a neck. You ever had a maple neck that can do this? It's very bendy. That's just an optical illusion. Okay, I, there is a purpose for this, and I'll explain everything. So let's start back at the beginning. Safety first. Put on your mask and your glasses. It's not cool getting uh, sawdust in your eyes and breathing in fumes. I've had sinus infections from breathing in a lot of sawdust, so I know for a fact. So this is an old neck. It was uh, my first tele build. It's got issues. It's got bad frets and it's warped and I use it as a basically a, an experimental tool so I'm gonna be cutting it open because people want to know what it looks like inside you you wanted to know no nobody wanted to know I, I was like I need to use this thing for something else I'll explain it in a second so I'm working on another project right now and I'm finishing a body like a guitar body and I noticed that the the big companies I saw how Fender does it and stuff and they have these rods that attach to the body. I'm like, I need to use one of those. So I've got these old necks, a couple of them, and they're like 30 bucks. They're not great, they're not good quality. I thought, you know what? I can use one of those as a support rod when I'm doing the finishing work. But wouldn't it be cool to see inside the neck as well? So I decided, I'm like, you know what? Let's make a couple videos out of this. Let's cut this one open so it's maple. And once I get down to the actual truss rod, I go to the hacksaw so I can cut through the metal. And uh, definitely do this in an open space where you got good circulation. I pull out a vacuum cleaner in a second here, a little dirt devil because I want to collect all the fibers and uh, the metal particles and stuff like that. You'll see in a second here once I reach it and notice, you know what, this is probably not the best having this, this metal floating around so it's also why I'm wearing a mask. So yeah, I'm not wasting this neck. This neck is getting a new life. It had a previous life on a guitar and that life ended and it's been sitting on the floor or in a closet or something for years and now it's getting a new life it's gonna have a new purpose I found this new uh, interest in finishing a guitar body for a project I'm working on I'm doing a kit you'll see it at the end here so anyways it's a lot of work to cut through this just want to show how much work it is do it you can do it come on it didn't take that much time but there we go realized yeah let's get that vacuum going and uh, that vacuum sucks. It's not great, but you know, it's doing its job sucking up the uh, the dust and the little metal filings that are coming out of this truss rod. I don't know what kind of metal that is. I'm hoping it's not heavy metal. Sorry, it's terrible. Horrible, terrible jokes. This guy sucks. Can you tell I wrote this script? No, this is one take live. I'm watching the video right now as you're watching it. I'm just enjoying it. So here we go, we're almost through, there we go. Cut through like a knife, it's just like a katana. And uh, we're just gonna clean up the ends, clean up the table and you see I got some stuff going on. All right, let's get a close up. This is really cool to look inside. I'm actually planning on taking the maple fretboard. You can see it's a, a layer of maple on top and uh, that's the truss rod. So I'm gonna pull it open later, maybe, that end piece and then uh, take a look at it closer and see what exactly is going on in there pry it open and do whatever I want to do with it but yeah so you're probably like what, what do you mean you're gonna use that as a hanger what are you talking about first I'll clean up the end I just want to sand it a little bit yeah what I'm gonna do I got these hangers they're called husky hangalls and they're, they're hanging from the garage ceiling and I'm gonna drill a big hole through it in a second and then I'm gonna hang it and uh, work on the body and this is all going to be in my next giant build video, the actual purpose of making this. There's probably a name for this. I know uh, big companies, when they're doing the spraying, they have this attachment to basically the neck pocket. And uh, yeah, I thought I could do my own. I've got this, this stuff already just laying around doing nothing. These necks aren't good for a guitar. They're not even good to sell somebody. I wouldn't be happy selling junk necks to people bought these years ago probably in 2014 2015 from a company called rock audio and they've since gone under but okay let's go here come on what are you doing are you trying to show us how you can sand it's not interesting come on hurry up all right almost done here we'll get to the point i was talking about so you can see what's going on and you're gonna get a sneak preview of the jazz master style build that i'm working on and uh, maybe you already know about it if you follow me on instagram you already know what's going on so there's a close-up of the uh, sanded wood pretty cool 
See, uh, so I'm gonna take this giant drill bit. Just drilled right through. Not through the truss rod though, I want to get it on the angle. That would be a problem. You can't do that, so here we go. Drilled right through. Now I've got a hanger, and this is the purpose. You might be saying, why would you do that? What, what a waste of a neck. And you can say that. I don't care what you say. But look how it hangs in there. I improvised. It's helping me doing the finishing work. I had strings originally. Anyways, play guitar and have fun.